The Ebola deaths in West Africa include more than 200 health workers. And this week, the CDC in Alabama started training 500 U.S. doctors and nurses. Mark Strassman was there. We say once you're completely barehanded, yeah. do not touch that Don't tap. Touch. This is a mock Ebola treatment unit similar to 17 clinics the U.S. is building in West Africa. John Welch, a 33-year-old nurse from Boston, was covered head to toe in a protective suit. There are a lot of people who need our help. Are you concerned about your own safety, your own health? I think you have to have a small amount of, of healthy concern because that allows you to follow protocol and follow procedure to the T every time. You wash your hands. 36 licensed clinicians spent three days practicing triage. They're all headed to West Africa. These people are going to realize very fast they're in for a rough experience. I hope so. Dr. Michael Young with the CDC showed us these suits called personal protective equipment or PPEs. Wearing one prevents direct contact with the bodily fluids of sick patients, which is how Ebola spreads. We're noticing mistakes here and there. We're pointing them out. So when you say you've seen mistakes, like what are the mistakes? We're seeing little breaks in PPE where we can see skin on the face poke through. That's a breach. We don't want that to happen. On Sunday, John Welch will head to Liberia. The boots, the gowns, the masks, the gloves. Was there a part of this, though, you said to yourself, you know, I really have to remember that? You do the same thing every day, okay, the same way of donning and doffing these PPEs so that you don't skip a step. By keeping ourselves safe, we can take good care of these patients. This CDC Ebola training will go on every week, at least through January. But for now, Scott, it will not be offered to clinicians who provide care here in the United States. Mark, thanks very much.